We had been, he said, discussing and holding talks with a group of investors and they have decided to bring a project to St. Martin. By now, all of you know that project is nothing else but a pearl of China that making St. Martin the center of the Caribbean, Latin and South America. Trade between China, the Caribbean and Latin and Central America will not run directly from China to the individual countries, but now will run from China via St. Martin as a hub, via St. Martin where the conferences will be held, via St. Martin where trade missions will be organized, where hundreds, hundreds of St. Martiners will get jobs during the construction period of no less than two years when they will be building their facility. And yes, rather, rather than saying it is a good project, they run on Facebook and started to attack it. Why? Because only they are supposed to get things for the people or for themselves. This project is for the people of St. Martin. This project is bigger than any project on St. Martin had ever been. It is bigger than what Mullet Bay meant in its glory days. Because while it was good for St. Martin and provided jobs, this will be providing more opportunities, more and better jobs for the 21st century. Many of our young professionals who are returning from studies can now find themselves not only a job, but a business opportunity. A business opportunity is what this project will bring to St. Martin. When they come out and tell you to come and protest, they had about a dozen people out there. They had about a dozen people out there. And when they realized that the project was for real, they came on radio to say, we are not against the project. We are against the fact that the government did not tell us enough about it. But let me ask them the same question. How much did Marcel Gums and Tio Heilago tell you about the rainforest project? that is desecrating Emilia Wilson estate, not one iota. And nobody went there to protest. Nobody went there to stop it. Nobody went there to say it is not good for our national park. It is not good for our cultural and historical values that are buried there. Nobody said it is wrong to build a steel building on what is our national park. No, none of them protested because it was Theo Heilago who initiated that with his friends. We bought that land for you and all of the people of St. Martin and they took it away from you and shamefully gave it to an investor for less, way less than what the cost is in long lease. We did not give the investors any land. They came here and they bought property. They came here and they invested in property. And what they have done, they are investing in the people of St. Martin. Because in the discussions, they said to us, when we put proposals forward, they agreed to give the WIMS a fully loaded ambulance for all of the people of St. Martin. A fully loaded ambulance. The last one they had was bought 16 years ago. They have agreed to contribute not 40, not 400, but 4,000 solar panels to assist the Minister in Education to place 2,000 solar panels on our schools to bring down the cost of electricity and to show and lead the way to a better way of generating electricity. The other 2,000 solar panels will go to our seniors to place on their roofs to bring down their electricity bill. They have agreed to give to our seniors not one, not a hundred, not 500, not a thousand, but 10,000 LED bulbs to bring down 
their electricity consumption. They have agreed to give our schools not five, not 50, not 150, but 500, 500 inverter air conditioners. They did not stop there. They have agreed to give the Charlotte Brookson Academy for the Performance Arts not 20, not 40, not 50, but 200 tables, 200 desks, so that they can start off in a new school with new furniture. That is what they have pledged to the people and government of St. Martin. And then what do they say? What do they say in response to that? Only that they gave? Yes, only that. It is way more than anything, anyone who has built anything, because they are looking for what they can get. We look for what you, the people, can get. We can go on and on. We can go on and on with the facts. But it is running late and we are over time. We want to thank you. We want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for supporting us in this campaign. We want to thank all of you who flew in. Hakim and all the others. I can't mention all of those names. But we are happy. We are happy Kishana is there. We are happy that Remy is there. We are happy that you are here. We are happy that all of you who came from abroad to support us in this campaign and this election. We are happy that Iris is here. We are happy that South Rewards, St. Peter's, Middle Region and Dutch Quarter, all of you are here. And before we finish, before we finish, we want to tell you on Monday morning, when you go out to vote, you will receive a ballot. It will be different than the regular ballots that you have always had. In the past, we had sometimes just two lists, sometimes just three lists. This time we will have nine slates of candidates. There are five at the top. Don't even look at them. There are four at the bottom. The first one has a female picture. The second one has a female at the top. The third one has another female at the top. And the last list has a handsome fellow with a bald head at the top. That is the list you are looking for. Forget the top five that has five men at the top. Forget those five. Go down to the bottom, all the way to the right, and you will see the bald head, the glasses, and the nice guy. That is where you cast your vote. On Monday, wear your uniform proud. On Monday, wear your uniform proud. Let them see you are not afraid to show them that you are a member of the National Alliance family. And as we pre prepare, this is what it looks like.